Hi people, welcome to my Welcome to Star Trek videos. Uh, now I'm going to show you the um, rank change uh, process. My level 9 uh, lieutenant has just been promoted to lieutenant commander, level 10. You can see I can't. I still cannot access Lieutenant Commander's skills. For that, I need to first expend thirty-three thousand uh, experience points in space and ground skills of Lieutenant uh, level. And uh, after that, I will be able to spend uh, points in upper level stuff. Anyway, there are some perks, uh, because I reach level 10, I get a new ship and I can buy new uh, a new rank of ships. Uh, up, up, till now, up until now, I've, I've had this uh, Miranda class uh, light cruiser, it's, uh, which you can only obtain by creating a new character. If you delete it, there is no way to get it back. Anyway, I'm going to beam up to Earth Space Dock, where I need to say hi to the Admiral and uh, go get my um, new level ship. I am a science officer, so I should uh, get uh, a science ship, of course. Uh, I would uh, have to choose between the looks of uh, three different ships but uh, if you watch uh, Voyager uh, essentially this rank of ships uh, includes the Nova class you might remember it, it was uh, one, uh, the only other Federation starship Jinwei found in the... well, where she was, but uh, in there also, since uh, I level up, I got a free costume change. Yay! I can personalize uh, my clothes for free. Haha. Uh -huh. I didn't go to any kind of marker, I believe. We can't find anything. I do have a data chip, thanks to just being made the, the daily lore quest. And I should uh, refine some dilithium. Okay, so as I told you in a previous episode, we need to go to Lieutenant Laurel and uh, get a new starship. Browse the selection and for Lieutenant Commander, thank you. For one energy credit, I can choose between a cruiser, an escort, or a science vessel. The science vessel I can choose between is the, the Nova, the Aurora, and the Quasar. Personally, I don't really like them much, but, uh, well... They all have uh, 13,500 uh, full points, a shield multiplier of 1.3, uh, two weapons in the fore, two weapons in the aft, a hundred people of crew, and they have 14 degrees of base turn and three device slots. They also can fit uh, one engineering console, one tactical console and two science consoles. They have uh, one, two... Uh, yeah, they have one console of... Uh, well, uh, they have one station of Ensign's level, that that means the same as I have right now, and a new one of uh, Lieutenant rank, which allows uh, a bridge officer to use up to two uh, different uh, skills. Or I can go to the Escort, which is the same essentially, however it only has a base crew of 50. Uh, it has two more degrees of base turn, it loses one device slot, Oh dear, it has a shield modifier of 0.9 So the, his shields would be even weaken, weaker It has a base hull of 15,000, which is more than the science vessel It only has one aft weapon, but it has three four weapons And it has one extra tactical console slot 
if we check in our station slots we see we have well we have a um, Vulcan engineering officer waiting to join us and uh, two tactical officers right now so it wouldn't be much of a choice I believe <coughs> regarding our bridge officers I could go with escort or science vessel without any kind of problem but uh, since I'm going to level, well, personally I prefer the looks of the Saber, or the Rapier, or even the, well, no, not the Ushan. I really like the the Saber class ship. And the Nova class is not that, uh, well, it's not one of my favorite ships. So let's go with a tactical one. So you can see there's no need Oh, of course, I should rename it. I don't want the USS Peru. Uh, let's go with the USS... Mm, Lily, for example. NCC 952375A, for example. The first rename is free. And the... Uh, I need to get out, <coughs> then get in again, if I want to check the price of uh, this level of ships. 15,000 dilithium. <coughs> also, I have uh, two or four slots uh, for ships filled. If we, go, if we go in here, select ship, I select the uh, Lily as current. We see it has a phaser dual cannon, photon torpedo, and two phaser beam arrays. Uh, one of the f bad things you could say from this game is that you can't uh, pass gear from your higher level characters to the lower level ones, but you can, uh, however, craft that uh, gear. Anyway, I can try to get this this and this and of course the device and the consoles into the new ship the new ship will have uh, its own skill bar so I would I would need to prepare it and you can see I have a crew complement of 50 that means the repairs of the ships will be well quite slow so checking we see uh, my impulse engines give me one more point of flight speed right the photon torpedo launcher um, green level um, okay the one I have in here is uh, 1600 246 dps well this is slightly better and the shield are essentially the same but this one reduces this rupture damage by 20% considering I am in the Klingon story arc that's uh, a good thing to have I can also fit uh, uh, finally my tactical zero point quantum chamber and that is all because I don't have anything else I will play some batteries even though I don't really need them and right now, um, for now I will place this gear in here uh, bear in mind that if you go to select your ship you can discharge a ship you don't uh, you use no longer that means that ship will be lost with all the um, equipped gear but uh, consider that these white weapons that comes with the ship we are a little to no value at all so it wouldn't be a great great loss Finally, we can go in here to customize the ship, as I already told you before. And uh, this, it will be uh, better shown now, because, well, first, what material we want the ship to be. I like the Type 4, personally. And what kind of, wind, of windows. I'll go with Type 4 again. Th we can customize the, the interior, but it cost uh, some energy credits so I prefer not to 
you know, to spend it we can choose colors I always like to go with uh, red and yellow and now the pattern you can see it changes in here and the like but first it should be better to choose an, an style since uh, the ship is too small and this one only has a hull, saucer and nacelles other has also pylons and, and the like and somehow I'm managing to there we go so we can choose between a gladius uh, saucer a riper saucer a saber or the ushan the gladius however you can't select it uh, because it's um, paid content so you can go with rapier saber or ushan I'll go with uh, rapier for now it gives a nice aerodynamic shape and for the hull you can see it's a back part mm, the ushan seems nice enough it gives it uh, squat and compact. The cells, you can see rapier, saber, and ushan. Rapier are well, a little too up. Saber are down. And ushan, ushan are sleek and nice. Yes, I like the this look for the ship. Now we can change the color pattern like uh, let's go with Sagittarius for the saucer and for the hull mm, Andromeda Leo is not uh, bad and for the nacelles it won't be much option Corvus yeah it's, uh, it's it's quite compressed for ship, but uh, oh well, and it cost zero energy credits. So now we should uh, go to stations and choose who goes where. Uh, we only have one a science station, so let's place there our ensign, one engineer. Well, sorry one bridge officer of each but for tactical of which we have two uh, for example like so right now none of them have any any skills so I'm going to tell you how to level your your officers I'm going to keep uh, crystal I believe uh, let me see basic lucky all dwelling store and acute senses. Oh well, it's just a choice of um, which one do we want to to level. Uh, so right now for grounds, I believe Anthe is good enough, and for space they are mostly divided by their capabilities. Mm, tactical team is nice to have attack pattern but a beta one well essentially I need to retrain anti because I don't uh, want to have that uh, attack pattern so let's go do that I will also make some some cannons I can get them on the exchange but for that I can use my main character since uh, she has all the money in here I only have 2000 energy credits in the other I have uh, 3 millions so it's like uh, no brainer there so let's see officer trainer you can see here and up a huge deal of options uh, let's see for example, we are talking about tactical. So we need to select level 1 tactical space staff. Mm. Hmm. Tactical team is good to have. But uh, right now I should choose between torpedo spread and torpedo high yields because there's nothing else you can have. Well, it's being fired at will one, but really 
I uh, I won't be sporting beams on my ship, so it's not really needed. Beam overload is also discarded for di that same way, and so we are limited to um, high yield torpedo. Our torpedo spread. I'll go with, tor with torpedo spread for Anthe, which cost me 75 energy credits, and then I can go to level 2, the lieutenant level of power, and uh, battle. No, these are, the, these are ground skills. There we go. Attack pattern beta 1, which uh, will give you some debuff for the targets. Attack pattern Delta 1, which is uh, evasive maneuvers essentially. More beam targets, no thank you. Cannon rapid fire. Or scatter volley. Mm -hmm. I could go with, okay, with tactical team 2, but why? I'll go with uh, cannon scatter volley 1. It's the one I have um, for Anthe too. It's the one I, I have in my multi-vector assault ship. You can see it's just changed in here. Now we need to improve her skills. We already spent in this officer 2000 points. We now go to status and in, on career options we can discharge this officer. That would be rather si silly for me. Or promote. By promoting uh, from Ensign to Lieutenant, Anthe will gain some health and uh, some other advantages. Among them, she can be trained now on Scatter Volley. Yay! <coughs> so you can see this is uh, how you level uh, a bridge officer. I should also level up. Uh, this tactical team, emergency power to shells, oh dear, I don't have enough bridge officer points to to train everybody, but I believe I can promote crystal, yes, promotion is free. You can only promote the bridge officers up to a level under your own, so I am lieutenant commander, I can promote my officers from ensign to lieutenant. Uh, right now I don't have any more space in my ship for any other bridge officer, so this Vulcan Engineering Officer Candidate can't be really get inside the ship. I could uh, use her to train for nearly free one of her skills to my uh, science officers, but uh, I don't really want to. Also, I have a quest in here, a tutorial quest, Scientific Mandate, talk to Lieutenant Commander Yi Gang which was uh, nearby my previous position. I was just so distracted. I totally forgot about that. But uh, it's essentially a tutorial about go here when you have injuries to, well, treat from injuries. But I get three minor gen regenerators, I believe. No, I, yes. I got three, and that is really good because they are useful. Mm, that's it, I believe. Lieutenant Commander Egan is somewhere, but I don't know where. Anyway, that's all uh, for now, and thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, I forgot. Uh, we still have to prepare the staff. Uh, right click on the different uh, items to move them around. Uh, if you want to delete it, just move them outside of the of th of the skill square. Remember to place the I the weapons you want on auto fire with. Uh, right click and you can see here we have our 
tactical stations, they are little mounted up on this system here. So we can go here and rearrange the hood a little, like so. Then we hit escape and nice and clear. Perfect. Uh, oh, as you can see, with left click you activate. So it's a little wasteful. And this is torpedo spread, so it goes in here and should be going there. Didn't I had a cannon volley? Oh, of course. I selected uh, the other way my tractor. Should be like so. See? We still have the jam targeting sensors and this other. If you want to add some skills that uh, are not already in the in the action bar or are not uh, down here in the stations, you can hit here with the left uh, mouse uh, click and then you can go down here. For example, distribute shield power is a skill I always place in here. And full impulse is something I don't really want to have because the temptation to use it is too high but uh, I suppose it can be ah no, it can only be used out of combat so it's the same as hitting here or shift R so that's it, my ship is quite nimble compared to my previous one and I now need some well we are now on 4 impulse, you can see it's much more quicker and now I need to outfit her with some nice gear, like some cannons. I, I want to get two cannons. And from the back I believe I will mount uh, a turret, so I can have everything ready. As for my skills, since I'm leveling I will place more points on weapon training. And uh, um, full repair, mm, full capacitors, no, medic. Not enough experience points to keep, uh, well, 24,000 spent in space, 9,000 on grounds, 33,000. So the next experience points I can start spending them in the lieutenant commander level. Anyway, I'm going to beam down to Starfleet Academy get near a mailbox and wait for my main character to send some goodies to this one. And uh, now, yes, thanks for watching and I'll see you around. Bye!